Hey, so I am in the middle of week two of my elemental diet reintroduction phase. I've introduced salmon, white rice, um, artichoke hearts. I've introduced um, hamburger, so like a hamburger patty, just like a grilled beef patty. Everything has agreed with me so far. I, I just have still have um, canker sores, cold sores, as you can see, and I have been having um, just hives and itching. I talked to my naturopathic doctor, and I had recently had x-rays done on my hands and my feet because I have a lot of what I thought was arthritis pain. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, and I was actually diagnosed with palindromic rheumatoid arthritis. I just figured it was arthritis. I mean, there are times when I could, I can't even like grab things or like hold a toothbrush really good. And my feet too, my bones in my feet hurt. So I got the x-rays back and she told me, uh, yeah, there's no arthritis in your feet at all <laughs> or your hands. There's no arthritis. She said, let's do this. Let's take you off of nightshades because nightshades have a tendency to um, aggravate and cause joint pain so um, she said let's take you off of nightshades and also let's take you off of um, the high the higher histamine foods so basically no nightshades and low histamine and also low FODMAP so pretty restrictive she saw that I was eating potatoes last week and uh, she thought, okay, nightshades, and then the, the bone broth is like, I guess, high in histamine, and I was eating a lot of bone broth last week and getting hives, and so a lot of it could be that I'm holding a lot of stress and anxiety in my joints as well, so I'm working with my um, visualization therapist on that and trying to get that under control, I'm trying everything I can just to let go of some, um, you know, old habits, old thought patterns, and try to try to like retrain my mind and my attitude and my outlook on things. Um, it's been a long journey. It's been about 12 years now. So I finally feel like I'm getting closer. I mean, I guess it's just kind of like anytime you have a lot of um, issues like this that aren't your conventional, the things that the conventional doctors can't really help you with. It's almost like you're peeling an onion and there's just a ton of layers in that onion. And, um, you know, I feel like I've had comments from family members like, oh, there's always something wrong with you or, oh, what now? Or, oh, we're onto this diet or, or what are we trying now? And it's frustrating because they just, they don't understand that like, I just want to feel, I want to feel good again. And honestly, the best I've felt is when I was on the elemental diet. And as soon as I started bringing food back in, you know, maybe my digestive issues have calmed down a lot, like a ton. But as soon as I brought food in, I had all these other little symptoms. Hey everyone, it's Christmas day. And it is the end of week two of my reintroduction to foods coming off the elemental diet. And so far, it's been going pretty good. It's a little bit more challenging than I thought bringing foods in. First of all, I'm having a hard time slowing down and taking it slow. I keep wanting to add in more foods because I can't wait to eat these foods. So I added in rice and sweet potato, salmon, a white fish, hamburger patties, and artichokes this week. And it's good, but I had a couple days where I was bloating. Not too bad though. And I didn't know, maybe it was the rice because I had a little too much rice. Um, you know, sometimes your body can handle so, you know, just maybe a half a cup of something. Um, but maybe that day I had it, I had rice two different times and maybe um, I just had too much. I don't know. So for right now, I'm just going to put white rice on the shelf until um, I just feel like I can bring it back in again. So uh, sweet potatoes, it could be that I bloated a little with the sweet potatoes. But again, I'm just going to keep trying with the sweet potatoes, put the rice on the shelf 
and see how it goes. Um, the next thing I want to bring in is turkey. And I'm going to bring in green beans. And I just really need to take it slow. I'm still using the Dr. Ruscio's Low Carb um, Vanilla Elemental Heal as a supplement. So I'm probably doing like one or two drinks a day and then two to three like small small meals a day. As far as my symptoms go, I'm so happy because my esophagus feels a lot better. I don't feel like last week I felt a lot of sores and even the beginning of this week it was just really tender and sore. So I don't know if it was just like all of a sudden my body just went on the fritz because it's getting food and it hadn't gotten any food for three weeks but it feels like that part of me is calming down. Um, and also canker sores in my mouth are going away and cold sores. I haven't gotten any more cold sores. So that is awesome because I hate all of that. I hate dealing with all of that. So I'm so glad that that's gone. Um, the only symptom I'm still having is itchiness. So like my scalp will itch, my arms, my skin. Just I've just got this like all over itchiness feeling. And um, so I talked to my naturopath the other day and like I said earlier, um, she wants me to stick with low histamine foods, cut out the nightshades, and continue on a low FODMAP diet. People keep asking me about my energy and my weight. So as far as energy goes, I did have a lot more energy on the elemental heel. Um, that's just me. A lot of people don't have a lot of energy when they're doing the elemental diet, but I actually had so much energy. I loved it. It was so nice. And um, I can definitely tell that as I'm bringing foods in, my energy is tanking a little. Um, not bad. Not, not anywhere near like what it was before I started all this, but I can definitely tell that um, I, I don't have the stamina that I did when I was doing the elemental heal. Um, I, I do tend to need a nap. I get pooped out a little bit easier. I feel a little weaker. So I, for whatever reason, bringing in food has just caused a dip in my energy. And, um, the other thing, as far as my weight goes, I actually felt like I was able to maintain my weight a little bit better when I was on the elemental diet. So that's surprising. You would think that just being on an all liquid diet, you would just, I mean, I did lose about eight pounds or so on the elemental diet, but now that I'm bringing food back in, I feel like I'm losing more weight than I was when I was on the elemental diet. And I don't know, I'm just probably not getting as many calories in with each meal. Um, I do, I feel like I want to add in more fat to my diet and, um, bumping up my calories. Definitely need to bump up my calories. It's just kind of hard when you're busy. It's been a busy, um, month. Um, obviously December gets kind of crazy. And, um, the one thing that I've noticed is that when I am around food, cause I've been around a lot of Christmas cookies. And I mean, the other day I took bagels and cream cheese over to my dad's for, for, uh, Christmas. And that's like one of my all time favorite foods. And I did okay. I was, I was so excited picking out all the bagels for everybody, but I was okay not eating the bagels because I know that the consequences of eating bagels is going to be that I'm going to feel like garbage. So I, it's so, you know, in the past I, I feel so deprived and I would be like, I don't care. I'm just going to be in pain. I'm just going to eat this. And now I'm like, no, why would I do that to myself? Why would I, why would I just like add fuel to my fire and hurt myself and damage my body? Like, it's just, I'm in a different mindset now and it, and it feels better. It's a lot healthier. Um, my mom was sad this morning. She lives with us and she was kind of sad this morning. Cause she's, I could tell, um, she felt like I was feeling deprived. So she was sad for me. Um, but I, I really am not feeling deprived. It is weird because I've spent years feeling deprived and I, I almost want to tell my kids and my mom, like, hey, you guys, if you want to make cookie Christmas cookies, go ahead. Like, I'm okay. And it's really the truth. Like, I'm really okay. And I don't know if it was because I was just on the elemental diet for three weeks. Like, you know, they say it takes 21 days to create a habit. Well, maybe it was just the, the mindset of just getting off of all that stuff and um, 
just not having anything to eat but the elemental diet drink and so now I'm like oh yay I can have like last night for dinner I had artichokes with um some white fish and you think before I'm like that's that that's a crappy meal but no it was so good so I feel I'm not feeling deprived I am so surprised at the change in my mental outlook on food like it's awesome just that alone is a gift because I felt like food haunted me and ruled my thoughts and my brain for so many years and it dictated whether I was having fun or not so no food no fun and that's not how life should be at all like there's so many other fun things to do and focus on and instead of food it's okay I mean our, our society is just so enamored by food and really it's when you take food out of the equation you notice people more and you notice details more and you can have fun in the moment and what you're doing and just really just cherish other things in life besides food and it's really it feels really good to be able to just walk through life like that and not gripped by cravings or the sweet tooth or what everybody's eating and how you know you either are going to suffer for it if you do eat it or you're just going to be deprived there's so much more and i just encourage anybody just that's on this like frustrating diet or this journey of trying to figure out what foods they can can tolerate and what foods they can't i would just con i would really just encourage you to just press on even if you have all these little health issues just get help and just don't stop if your doctor doesn't want to listen to you or they just blow you off keep looking for another doctor to help you keep going because when when you finally start getting help and you start feeling better it's worth it it's worth it so i would just encourage everybody that is they're struggling with health issues and food issues and food addiction or you know emotional ties to food any anything anything don't give in and don't let it beat you rise up and fight and work hard and so yeah so you fail one day so you go out and binge out on donuts okay the next day is a new day you make better choices even if you have to do it meal by meal by meal you know even if you have to start little like that that is okay just keep keep pressing on and keep fighting because nothing is worth being in pain or being miserable it's not worth it. So that's it. That's a wrap for week two.